Hello, 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 and welcome once again to Movies That Pop. I'm the Colonel. Let's see what popped up in theaters this week. Well, this is the second time in less than a month that I've seen a film that prominently featured both Channing Tatum and the song Take Me Home Country Rolls. The last one was better. In fact, the last one was better is kinda where I want to start with my review of Kingsman the Golden Circle. Imagine a line right between, say, a James Bond movie and an Austin Powers movie. The previous Kingsman film wavered a little bit here and there, but managed to stay right in the sweet spot between the two. This one, it spends way too much time veering over to the Austin Powers territory and displays only the briefest flashes of actual humanity. The first one was silly sometimes, but in an endearing way. It was frenetic, it was irreverent, it was stylish and cool. This one, well, more often than not, it's just ridiculous. To begin with, I gotta talk about the villains here, starting from the top down, with Julianne Moore up here, on down to her henchmen, to some people working with her, to some other people who we may think are heroes but turn out to be villains a little bit, no spoilers. None of these characters make any sense at all. Their plans don't make sense, their reactions to events don't make any sense, and when one character, like I kind of hinted at, turns villainous, their reasons why don't make any sense either. I hated just about everything about Julianne Moore's villain character as well, and we just kept cutting back to her throughout the film. Her plan is stupid, her evil lair is really stupid, and her ultimate defeat is so anticlimactic that her entire character ends up being a total waste of time and energy. And, and you know what else? I, I'm just gonna say, Elton John is in this movie, and you will definitely wish he wasn't by the time the credits roll. What should have been a brief joke cameo or as a sight gag becomes a full-fledged supporting role for Sir Elton John. And it's, it's not funny the first time, and it's not funny for the other 35 times we cut back to Elton John. And I mean, I mean, woefully unfunny. Over and over. Oh, it's just awful. And while we're at it describing what doesn't work with this film, let's talk about how they brought back Galahad, the agent played by Colin Firth, who was shot in the head in the first film. I liked nothing about his character here, not the explanation for why he's still alive, the state we find him in, nor his character arc throughout the film. Firth just walks around looking like he's basically sleepwalking through the whole movie, even while in the middle of an action scene. So what did I like about the Kingsman? Well, I did kind of like that action. The movie starts with a bang, and it's a really great, exciting car chase. If they all had been like that, we wouldn't have a problem. This would be an easy recommendation. I also like the United States equivalent of the Kingsman called The Statesman, which is run by Jeff Bridges and is staffed by the likes of Channing Tatum, Halle Berry, and Pedro Pascal of Game of Thrones, although all of them but Pascal are criminally underutilized here. Once again, I enjoyed the chemistry between Taron Edgerton and Mark Strong, who I've got to say is the series MVP at this point. And like I said, there were a couple of great action sequences, including a, an escape from a snowbound mountain and some really good solid beatdowns. However, by the time we arrive at the conclusion of the long and drawn out finale, even the carnage has gotten boring. Small bag of popcorn for the disappointing Kingsman The Golden Circle. After such a solid and fun romp the first time around, it's not so much that the filmmakers ran out of ideas, it's just that none of those ideas they came up with this time were any good at all. That does it for this edition of Movies That Pop. Don't forget to follow me, the Colonel, on Twitter, at Movies That Pop. And click the icon right down there to visit our channel if you'd like to see more. And support us, please, by clicking subscribe while they're there, and by clicking the thumbs up icon below. I'd like to hear your thoughts on Kingsman, the Golden Circle, in the comments as well. Let's have it. In the meantime, thanks for watching. I'm the Colonel, and manner maketh the man.